नाजीन असल लाइव फ़ोन इन इंटरेक्टिव प्रोग्राम टेल क्लास रूम का के आज के शुमारे में आप सभी का पूरे टेल क्लास रूम टीम की तरफ से इस्तबाल है खैर मकदम है नाजीन हमें उम्मीद है कि आप सब खुश होंगे खैर वाफियत में होंगे और ये दुआ है रबालमीन से कि आने वाला वक्त आपके लिए हमारे लिए और पूरी इंसानियत के लिए अमन शांति खैर और आफियत वाला वक्त हो नाजीन आज के इस प्रोग्राम में मैं रहूँगा आपके साथ आपका मेज़बान न्याज बट और मेरे साथ रहेंगे मेरे शरीक मेज़बान रहेंगी हमारा शफी शुक्रिया भाईजान friends you know now it is we often hear about a large number of students who are getting the high marks marks in the various board exams ji and this makes the other students and their parents Gee. to think that getting high marks in the exams is the only important thing but friends if you want to become a researcher or a scientist hmm. you don't have to worry about getting the high marks at all but perhaps learning about the subjects is just enough for you and i just believe that we shouldn't use this marks trend Gee. to judge the intelligence and knowledge of the student at all mm -hmm. uh, so we try to do the things to magnify the things and to amplify the things here this in this program we cannot complete the syllabus as exactly. it is uh, said by the humera that we uh, it is not important to secure the exact marks and exact percentile in this but uh, we also could not it not possible here also to complete the syllabus in this one hour program where okay. we interact with you uh, also, viewers but group. we try to amplify things here okay. we try to amplify the teaching skills of the teachers who weave our program we uh, try to amplify the students learning skills okay. and let us amplify things with us let us try to amplify by calling us on our phone number 0194248183 or 0194248183 besides that you can also email us on our email id that is ddktelclassroom@gmail.com Exactly. Well, friends, as you all know, that English is very dominant business language, and it has become necessary for all the people to speak in the English language if you want to enter in the global workforce. Yes. And I want to add here one more thing: that recently, the British Council has projected that by 2020, that is by the next year, more than two billion people will be studying this English language. Mm -hmm. So this reveals about the importance of English language in our daily life. So keeping this thing in mind today we have chosen one of the important topic from English and that is word stress in English language Exactly what you earlier uh, told to the viewers that this language has provided the, to the people of the subcontinent exactly. uh, particularly to the people Because of the subcontinent Indian language. Pakistan Bangladesh other things they have provided a lot of avenues in the Gee. BPOs in the communication industries in the uh, technologies in the IT professionals because these are called from the foreign uh, companies only the reason uh, behind that is they are english knowing less or more they are knowing but they are english knowing exactly. and for the same reason we come up with this subject that is english and uh, today's topic will be word stress and all these things will be revealed to us by our um, uh, teacher mr abdul ahad uh, retired headmaster uh, to this program a uh, very senior academician you are, we are welcome to you in this program please uh, and you, we sir, also mr. welcome uh, mr um, professor mohammad aslam uh, that is uh, former professor department of english kashmir university aap dono ka bahut bahut khair mand shukriya sir yahan aane ke liye well friends i'm so excited to introduce and welcome the students all the way from radian public school batingo i'm right batingo yeah anant nag aur ab waqt ho chata hai ek chote se break ka we'll be right back after a short break sir <laughs> आशीर्वाद माँ का लाड़ और माँ का दूध बच्चे के लिए कभी कम नहीं पड़ता माँ हूँ इसलिए जानती हूँ यकीन रखिए बार बार पिलाने से माँ का दूध बढ़ता ही है माँ का दूध फायदे खूब इतने सारे फल फूल वाह कमाल है भाई सब शौचालय का आशीर्वाद है मिश्रा शौचालय शौचालय नहीं शौचालय वो भी दो गड्ढो वाला 
सात साल पहले मैंने इनसे कह दिया था शौचालय नहीं तो शादी नहीं और मैंने क्या जवाब दिया था दो गड्ढो वाला नहीं तो शौचालय नहीं दो गड्ढे क्यों एक गड्ढा पाँच साल में भर जाएगा शौच करते करते उसके बाद लिवर को ऐसा घुमाओ और दूसरा गड्ढा खोल दो अरे दूसरे की कैसरत इसी को साफ करवा दो ना टट्टी तो है ये टट्टी नहीं है ये सोना है अरे ये गड्ढा भरने के बाद अगर एक साल बंद रहेगा तो यही छीछी सोना बन जाएगा यानी सोन खान इसे हाथ से उठाओ और खेतों में मिलाओ और शौचालय का आशीर्वाद पाओ अब तो मैं भी बनवाऊंगा दो गड्ढे का शौचालय और ये भाभी जी को दो धरती का उपहार है मिश्रा शौचालय हो तो दो गड्ढो वाला Uh, welcome back to live phone in interactive program tail classroom it's time to have the class first i would like to thank uh, mr um, arshid bashir who uh, bring all these students from the batingo and atnag to this studio uh, thank you so much uh, arshid bashir sir and i hear by all the stages you as mr uh, abdullah hat sir please sir, start the lecture good morning everybody very good morning, morning sir my pleasure lord see you today from radium public school and atnag participating in a very lively program teaching learning of english as a foreign language especially word stress well you all seem to be happy today why are you happy today only because you are participating in L this uh, tele classroom yes, yes sir you are eager to speak english yes sir you are eager to speak english like the english yes sir oh my love and pleasure and before i start i would like to ask you some questions are you ready to answer them yes sir okay now get ready Define English alphabet. Let uh, use it to write English. Oh my love, letters used for writing English are called English alphabets. alphabets. Mm. How many are there in number? Twenty-six. Name them. Yes, you name them. A. 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 B. B. Up to. Up to Z. Up to Z. Oh, oh, you know A B C D of the expansion. Good, good. Now, can you classify it? Yes, yes of course yes you classify them good into vowels and consonants vowel letters and, and consonant. consonant letters okay very good very good excellent now can anybody say what do you mean by the vowel letters so oh my love you remember everything okay okay vowel letters are sounds in our traditional books on grammar we have crudely defined vowel letters as sound letters it is because of vowel letters that we have sound in english any word and every word that you speak in english can have sound only when there is a vowel letter initially medially or finally finally yes for example cow C O W C O W Now what vowel letter is you here O oh. O oh. oh. If you drop this O oh, you are left with C, -O -W. C W Does it have any sound No At drop A then you are left with T, T. T. Do drop O you are left with T D any word that you write in english it is yielding a sound only when there is a vowel letter initially medially or finally okay yes, now good uh name english these vowel letters a e i o u oh you remember it a e i o u how many are there in number five there are five in number okay now Rest are consonant letters. Good. Now, what do you mean by word? Second question. Yeah. Okay. So good of you. Word is the unit of expression. expression. Word is the unit of expression. Okay. Unit of expression. Everything has got some unit of length. Measurement of length is meter. Measurement of liquid is liter. liter. Measurement of expression is word. word. So word is the unit, unit, unit of, of expression. Expression. Good, good. Word is the unit of expression. Expression. Okay. What is 
Actually, how is the word formed? By the combination of letters. One or more letters of the alphabet in combined, combined form. Give us a word. Can one letter be a word? Yes. Mm. Why? I. I. Good. And? Uh. Uh. Very good. And again the same word? Cow. Right. So here you find these vowel letters go in combined with consonant letters and they give you a word. Now word. What's word made up of? Really, basically, it is a language. Language is a noise. First of all, every language is a noise. noise. And it becomes a meaningful noise when associated with objects around meaningfully. Now, this word, it is basically a sound. One or more sound segments. One or more sound segments. One or more sound segments. Called? Syllable. Very good. Form a word. One or more sound segments. In combined form a word. Sound segments are called syllables. syllables. Now, single syllable words. I, a, uh, cow, man. chalk, walk, talk, eat, and all these. These are single, single, single syllable, syllable words. words. Now, you can try to have also two syllable words. Yes? For example, Package, not package. 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 Damage. Damage. Kidney. Kidney. Table. 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 Now you see here. Able. Able. Table. Table. Damage. Damage. What do we say here? These are two sound segments. Table. Damage. Cabbage. Damage. Cabbage. Table. Cabbage. Package. Baggage. Not package. Package. Baggage. Now, actually, we find two sound segments going together. These are called two syllables. Two syllables. Here, we are making one relatively prominent. We are making one relatively prominent. And the syllable that is relatively made prominent is because of word stress. stress. Accent. Accent. So, accent means re relative prominence. Prominence of a syllable or something. Relative prominence nuns of a syllable. What do you call the sound segment in a word, right? Yes, yes sir. Now you see, every every language has its own ways of expression, has its own accentual patterns. Your English is English only when you have got proper words to yes. When you are going by this accent, when your accent is cracked, your English is okay. It is English English. You want to speak English English? Yes. Yes, yes, sir. You can speak English English when you know a little bit about accent. It becomes un-English, un English what you call imbalanced English, if you are not knowing accent. If you are not knowing accent. So relative prominence of a syllable is called is due to, this accent is due to, Stress. Stress is greater, greater muscular breath force. Greater muscular effort. Breath force. Or greater muscular effort. Greater muscular effort. Muscular effort. 
or greater amplitude of vibration of vocal cords in case of voice sounds in English. Okay, we will be hopefully so taking up next, taking care of all these things to make your English English. So true when a non-native of Kashmir, Kashmir language, be he a Punjabi, be he a Keralite, be he a Daliite, even, even an Englishman. If he or she is coming to speak Kashmiri, you laugh at him. Why do you laugh at him? He stresses everyone. He stresses everyone. Particularly, let me talk of your own valley. You, you don't mind. Maybe there is somebody from uh, Punjab or somebody from Gojar community. When he or she is coming to speak Kashmiri, you all laugh at him. Why do you laugh? Because he is addressing every sound segment of the word he speaks. Right? Yes, sir. And it makes you laugh. True of English as well. If you don't, if you don't know accentual patterns in English, the native speakers of English are at once say that he is a non-native of English and doesn't know how to speak English. Right? Yes. Okay. So let us now see how to go with some concrete examples about these things. First, we will say single syllabled words. Chalk, talk, cow, pet, bat, sat, all these. <laughs> these are single syllables. Now the problem is actually with double, two, or more than two syllable words. Now let's take two syllable words. Two syllable words. Syllable words. Two syllable words. Package. 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 Village, cabbage, able, table, kidney, dentist, pass, master, tackle, so many. I will leave the rest to you. You will add some more words, two syllable words, where you will see that we are making first part prominent, relatively prominent. This relative prominence in your dictionaries, you will find there is a vertical bar like this. Yes, yes. yes sir. Yes. This vertical bar denotes one thing. What does it denote? Accent. Accent. That is, this syllable, this part of the word is to be made relatively prominent. more prominent. prominent. <coughs> now, there are two syllable words. Yes, sir. But stress is on the second, second part. part. For example, you see, D E V E L O P, not develop, 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 and roll, and roll, and roll, and roll, divorce, divorce, bout, bout, attend, then we say attend, huh? Attend, attend, attention, attention, admit, admit, not admit, admit, admit. Go, 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 apart, apart, attack, attack. Now you see second syllable. Yes. Right? Yes, yes. Sir. Compose. 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 Right. Uh -huh. I just want to know about uh, can we have more than one stress in a word? Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> How patient is a little bit to go with me? <laughs> I will do everything. Okay. So you have seen two syllable words like compose, not compose, compose, compose. Comparative. 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 comparative, comparative, instead of saying comparative, yeah. comparative. comparative, so comparative, this part is stress, stress. so this stress makes your English, English. English. then there are three syllable words, right, yes. I'm yes. Step. three syllable words where you are making the first syllable prominent, for example, Accident. 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 Bicycle. Bicycle. Cultivate. Cultivate. Not cultivate. 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 Educate. 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 Right? Yes. 
Both. Educate. Educate. Fortunate. Fortunate. Separate. 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 You're stressing first part of it. So is it true that we can have only one stress in a world? Yeah. One. Now, the, 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 say one stress or more stress, I'll say prominent pitch change is at one. The tonic accent is on one on syllable, one. but there can be secondary stress, stress, stress as, as well. But we have to go first by the Prominent stress, that is the, where there is a pitch change, that is the tonic accent. Okay. Right? Yes, yes, so, you see three syllable words, accident, for example, fortunate, for, to, knit. You see, fortunate, here we are stressing, separate, fortunate, accident, bicycle, right? Yes. So, in such, what are you doing? You're stressing. Yes. Yes. Read? Yes. Now, there are three syllable words. Okay. But the stress is on the last, last part of part. it. For example, the command. The command. The command. The command. Recommend. The command. Recommend. Understand. 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 Recommend. Recommend. Entertain. 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 Yes. Decompose. 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 Which part is made prominent? Last. 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 So this stress changes from initial to last. last. In three syllable words. Right? Yes. yes. Then there are there is another thing that you will remember, that is uh, inflectional suffixes. Inflectional suffixes. suffixes. Inflectional suffixes are normally you have a word, for example, walk, Spark. walks, Walking. Walked. Walked. Now, this walking in, sir, here, these are called inflectional suffixes. What are these? Inflectional suffixes. Their main function in the war is that help us form different yeah. tenses or singular and plural. But when we are Talking of stress, we should not make this problem. Generally, people say, walked. 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 No. It is walked. E-D is here. It is ta sound. Okay, we'll do it. When it is E-D going to yield you? Ta sound. In a separate yes, class, hopefully so, we'll do. So, walked. What is it? Walked. Talked. 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 Talking. Talked. Talking, we don't say. Talk. Talk. Right? Yes, sir. So these are inflectional Inflection suffixes. suffixes. In inflectional suffixes, we find it is the stem yeah. that root is to be stressed root 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 rather than the inflectional suffix. suffix. Uh, you get it all? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Clear to you? Yes, yes, sir. Now, there are derivational suffixes. What? Derivational, derivational suffixes. suffixes. For example, academy. 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 Academician. 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 Now here, mission. This is prominent. Academic. This is prominent. Academy. This is prominent. Here, in these derivational suffixes, you find that how do we get new forms of words, right? Yes, sir. So, it is this uh, stress that changes. Uh, okay? Yes, yes, sir. Get it all? Yes, yes sir. sir. Then there are other derivational suffixes like age, as I said right in the very beginning. Package. 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 Advantage. Advantage. For example, break. 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 Breakage. Right? Breakage. We don't say breakage. 
breakage. It is on English if you say breakage. It is English if you say package. Is it? Yes, yes sir. And C is there. In the end, for example, appear. Appear. Appearance. Appear. This is Roman. Appearance. Appearance. We don't say appearance. 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 Entrance. Entrance. Now, H O O D hood is another suffix. Ending. Child. Say, Childhood. It is here uh, the root that is to be said. Child. Child. Childhood. Child. Childhood we don't say. Brother. Right? Yes, sir. Ship is there. Fellow. Fellow. Fellowship. Fellowship. Fellowship we don't say. Right? Yes, yes sir. So you have seen that in such cases we find this stress, it is somewhat that here it is initially, Twice. there it is medially, mm -hmm. there it is finally. 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 So, uh, why is it so? Let's have some historical reasons for this. Agreed? Yes, yes sir. sir. You would like to know them? Yes, yes sir. sir. English is derived from two main Nine sources. Yes. What are the two main sources of English? German, German and Roman. Roman. Oh, you remember it very well. Very good. Excellent. Germanic and Romans. Romans. In Germanic, you have got the initial yes, stress. stress. Barche, they say a boy, initials. Yes, and in uh, Romans, there's uh, the later language, Greek language, you said to try the last syllable. Yeah. And because of this interaction, initial and final, final. There, uh, this has led to accentual uh, complexity of accentual patterns in English. Not pattern, patterns. Pattern. Yes? Patterns. Pattern. This has led to the complexity of accentual patterns, patterns in, English. in English. In English. Say, there are compound words. I will touch every part of it here. Compound words with two oh, elements. Oh. You are making one part, first part, first element prominent. prominent. More than that of the second. For example, anything. 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 We don't say anything. No. Anything. 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 Backbone. 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 We don't say backbone. 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 Churchyard. Churchyard. Courtyard. Courtyard. Earthquake. Earthquake. Goldsmith. Goldsmith. So many. You will add some more, minimum 10 words on each, right? Yes, yes sir. That's my assignment to you. So you find here this first element of this compound word is stress. Then there are, yes, you have a question? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Sir, I'm saying Jana Chatiyum ki, how can we know whether the word is stressed or not without listening to its pronunciation? Okay, how can you know whether this is or not? This, that you have to. We have, first of all, <coughs> yeah, I think better it is in the end this question should come. Right? You know, language is caught than taught. We never go by learning a language, especially a living language like English, by rules. Yes. Better is that you learn it, learn pick it. it up the way it and is spoken. The way it is spoken. Spoke. Spoke. Now, so what about two, us? two elements. We don't speak English locally. Uh -huh. People in Kashmir don't speak English. Yeah, yeah. So how are we supposed to learn English without what learning the rules? Uh, you, you, you what about very good how can we speak English without learning the rules? Uh, I'm of the opinion, and my first thing is, I'm before my friend here, Dr. Aslam, language is spoken. Better it is that we should learn language from proper sources. That is, first of all, how did you pick up Kashmiri? From it's our parents. only you, your papa, your mom, your, mothers. your daddy, and everybody spoke. From our families. And you picked up the same. Yeah. Thing. So, the role of a teacher is very much important here. It is because of the role of a teacher, right, at the initial level, for example, you're in prepare, primary stage. There, I could come to you with a book on roles. Your newborn baby. Nobody can come. Did, yeah, when you pick up Kashmiri as your first language, did your parents make any conscious no. effort to teach you Kashmiri with rules? No, no sir. Nobody. Because How? They spoke and you picked up. Yeah. So better it is that you must, inshallah, you will be having very good teachers in the schools. Therefore, first thing that I will stress is that the teacher is the primary thing there in the classroom situation is to give you correct language. Okay. Now, three, two element words, compound words, but equally both are stressed. 
But there is a pitch change, as you said. Pitch change on the second. Second. For example, afternoon. 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 First is there. Second is there. But there is pitch. Pitch change there. The afternoon, afternoon, half hour, half hour, long lived, long lived, middle aged, middle aged, northwest, northwest. northwest. You are making both prominent. Exactly. Then there are also compound words with three elements, and it is the middle one that is made prominent. For example, hot water bottle, hot water bottle, hot water bottle, hot water bottle. <laughs> With paper basket. Waste paper basket. With paper basket. Waste paper basket. If we say waste paper basket, no. this is un English. Un English. With paper basket. Waste paper basket. So you have seen that this is a real issue that we must know about. Okay. Now that your students grow up in classes, higher classes, second classes, so you are ready to have some working idea about this word stress? Ready? Yes, yes sir, sir, definitely. Then you'll take out your pen and pencil or be very much attentive to what I say. Now, <coughs> now two, first thing, two syllabled words, two syllabled words. words. Functioning as noun. Functioning as noun. As noun or action word verb. It is only stress that makes them a noun or a word. It is the only stress that makes them a verb. Action word. Homographically, as per spelling part, say. But stress makes them an all. Stress word. makes them an verb. It makes them an action word or verb. For example, object. Object. Subject. 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 Project. Project. Sentence, as you speak. <laughs> Project. Yes. Record. 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 Project. Yes. Progress. Rebel, produce, produce. Yes, report, yes, uh, I'll give some, so. increase, decrease, export, import. Now look here, object, if you, if you mean that it is to be used as a noun, it is only stress that will make it an object. There are many objects on the table. Yes? There are many, ma many objects, objects on, on the, the table. table. Objects. Which part I am making prominent? First part. First. Now, if I shift it to the second, Checked. it will run? Checked. 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 I don't object to your proposal. Spelling is the same. But object, object. object. I don't object to your proposal. I don't object to your proposal. Subject. English is my favorite, favorite subject. The criminal was subjected to torture. Sentence. I read a few sentences in English. But the thief was sentenced to death. Sentence. 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 Record. 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 Progress, 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 right? Yeah. Rebel, 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 rebel. rebel. Produce, 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 increase, increase, increase. decrease, decrease. decrease. Clear to you? Yes, yes sir. Sir. Second thing, weak prefixes in words with weak prefixes, like uh, like be, like come, and like t. Now, it is here the stem, the root that is to be stressed, not the weak prefix. For example, Cross. go, go. not ego, go, go. go. But, but, not about, 
about attack ten 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 admit admit across so many B not between train between the train between come come because 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 this is to be made prominent right come Compose, compose, comparative, comparative, composition, 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 no. composition, 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 now, similar to develop, 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 deduce, deduce, denote, denote, so on and so forth. These are weak prefixes. These are not to be Sir, made prominent. Can you just tell me in brief why is word stress important? Hmm? In short, short me batai, why is word stress important? Okay, surely. Yeah. Uh, uh, in brief, in short. Because word we are stress left is with, I think, important challenge. only because it makes your English English. Or else your English is on English. In English. English. Difference. This is what I can say. Just putting the whole thing in a nutshell. Now yeah. then, there are words which are ending in shen. Word is ending in shen. It is the syllable that precedes shen, which is to be made prominent. prominent. Cultivation. Cultivation. Education. Education. Yes. Attention. Education. An institution. Digestion. Now, Jose, he gave me one word. Di, uh, di digestion. 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 Now look here. Here, shen is preceded by s. 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 Letter s. s, which is uh, called so sound. So sound. So sound. Then shen is preceded by so sound. You know, chen. 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 Then it is not digestion. 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 Suggestion. Suggestion. Question. Question. Two things. Three things. Four. Ready? Yes, sir. Words ending in ek, ekal or ekali. It is the stress uh, goes to the syllable that precedes it. For example. Electric, electric, elastic, 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 grammatical, grammatical, grammatically, dramatically, politically, politically, so far. Now words which are ending in ity. It is the third syllable from the end that is to be stressed. For example, activity. Ty is preceded by this. Third from the one, two, three. Third. This is to be made prominent. Activity, Activity. generosity, verbosity, necessity, 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 necessity. necessity. Probability. 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 probability, possibility. Speak English like that, and it is your English. English. Okay, then, should I go ahead? Ready to listen? Want to yes, more? Sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, then words which are ending in A T E. It is third syllable from the end that is to be stressed. Say so complicate, 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 agitate, agitate communicate, fortunate, fortunate, separate, separate. So many words that you release on this. Right? Yes, yes sir. Then there are words which are ending in O U S. Ending in O U S. Syllable that precedes Curious. this is to be made prominent. Notorious, notorious, rebellious, rebellious, luxurious, 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 laborious, laborious, meritorious, meritorious, officious, officious. So, shes is preceded by preceding syllable is to be made prominent. Ready? Yes, sir. Now there are so many things, right? But time, time is short. So, briefly. Your English is English only when you are properly knowing the word accent. Accent means making prominent a sound segment in a word called the syllable. Right? Yes, sir. And then I have given you something in terms of some working ideas about this. Words ending in shen, preceding syllable. Words ending in it, third from the end. Words ending in at, third from the end. Uh, then you have got words ending in ous. Sec uh, the preceding, preceding syllable. syllable. Mm -hmm. And C-I-A-N, say, magician. Magician. Yes. Electrician. Electrician. Musician. Musician. Politician. Okay. And here I conclude 
Hope you get it all. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank, you, Thank you so See much. See you again and again. Thanks for such a Bye. Thank you so much, Until then. Thank you, sir. Kindly, sir. Be seated. So you might have stressed your body and physique by stressing <laughs> the lot of the words. So we let's uh, say let's relax uh, for some time. Uh, okay. Let's, we'll take a break first. We'll be back after this break. So okay. सुमन बेटा सब ठीक होगा बस तू पहला घंटा याद रखना हाँ जरा ध्यान से कैसी हो पहला घंटा याद पिला दिया पहले एक घंटे में माँ का पहला दूध बनाए बच्चे को अंदर से मजबूत बीमारियों से लड़ने के लिए क्यों माँ का दूध फायदे हो Uh, welcome back to live phone in interactive program teleclassroom it's time to have the interactive session you can call us on our phone numbers uh, these are streaming down the line uh, scrolling down the line or you can email us on our email id ddk teleclassroom at the rate of gmail.com we have our first email from uh, mudassir gul uh, from barbar shah srinagar assalam alaikum or our lecture was good but for the advanced uh, for the advanced uh, learners of the english language my question to the expert are should the teacher of the english at the secondary stage focus on the fluency or the accuracy of the learner in the learners does mti mother tongue influence x as a stumbling block in the learning correct accent of the second language if yes then how should we expect second language learners to speak the correct accent sir please uh actually uh, there are influences in any non native uh, speaker you can't deny that but when you speak more and more this tumbling block or mm. stumbling block this will actually go okay. what is important is to speak it out mm -hmm. as uh, your teacher was talking about the uh, letters normally what we do we focus on the letters okay. and miss out that language in spoken mm -hmm. form is not letters at all okay it is actually the sound sounds so o e i u mm -hmm. they are not sounds of the english language mm -hmm. they are letters okay so in order to speak english fluently mm -hmm. it is important that you focus on the way it is spoken okay now i'm sorry i'm not a propagator of english for english mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i'm a propagator of english for understanding that okay. is what is important What's you must is? make yourself understand Communicate. if okay. you are able to do it minor glitches here and there it is okay so i would like to add i am scared today on speaking but there are so many of the words we don't stress yes, yes. actually what was told by the uh, teacher abdul ahad sir how would how this stumbling block that earlier tell this uh, by this student also that we are not the native speakers sir any set of the rules that could master this thing sir absolutely if you look at the board that mr ahad was uh, using mm -hmm. some words that he used and showed you that the stress is on the first syllable okay or oh, i'm sure the student must have got what category of words they are okay all the first these words where he put the stress they are nouns they are adjectives okay but where it goes to two syllable words if they are verbs then the stress would be on the second syllable second syllable but again there could be exception we will take first the call our yeah. call is uh, patiently waiting for us uh, from verinag malik altap assalamu alaikum <coughs> welcome to tele classroom hello hello assalamu alaikum hello hello assalamu alaikum assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah niya sir ji ji aaj hamari khushkismati hai ki wadi kashmir ke namwar alim मोहतरम मोहम्मद असलम साहब हमारे स्टूडियो में मौजूद हैं जी और साथ ही मोहतरम उब्दुल्ला डार ने बहुत ही दिलकश और दिलावेज अंदाज में अपना लेसन पेश किया जी। हम आपको दाद तहसीन पेश करते हैं तो बहरहाल मेरा एक माहिराना राय जानना चाहता हूँ मोहतरम मोहम्मद असलम साहब से जी कि लैंग्वेज लैब का जो तस्वुर दिया गया है तो लैंग्वेज लैब के हवाले से हम वर्ड स्ट्रस को कैसे अपने क्लास में इंट्रोड्यूस कर सकते हैं जी 
जी थैंक यू सो मच फर्स्ट टाइम फर्स्ट विल टेक द सेकंड कॉल देन विल रिस्पॉन्ड टू मलिक अल्ताफ जी एक और कॉलर हमारे साथ जुड़ी है फैसल अनंतनाग से हमारे साथ जुड़े अस्सलाम वालेकुम वेलकम टू टेली क्लासरूम अस्सलाम वालेकुम सर जी वालेकुम अस्सलाम जी फैसल साहब फरमाइए हेलो अस्सलाम वालेकुम सर वालेकुम अस्सलाम सर आई एम फैसल जी फ्रॉम अनंतनाग जी uh, सर इट्स वेरी वेरी बिग थैंक यू टू यू पीपल यू आर मैनेजिंग दिस प्रोग्राम एंड आई वाज वाचिंग दिस प्रोग्राम फ्रॉम लास्ट वन वन ईयर एंड आई एम थैंक यू टू यू पीपल यू आर इनवाइटिंग द स्टार्स एंड वी आर लर्न फ्रॉम your channel thank you so much thank you so much sir my question is that how you learn in please what's your question please uh, phone chal raha hai aapka awaaz nahi aa rahi hai where it's not audible aapki awaaz hum tak nahi pahunch pa rahi hai sir गालिबन लाइन ड्रॉप हुई किसी टेक्निकल रीजंस की वजह से अल्ताफ साहब का जो क्वेश्चन था सर उनका क्वेश्चन ये था कि लैंग्वेज लैब लैंग्वेज जी लैंग्वेज लैब का तस्वुर जो था वो सत्तर के मतलब दहाई में बड़ा मशहूर अर्ली सेवेंटीज क्योंकि उस वक्त ये सोचा गया था कि अगर हम इनको जानवरों की तरह स्टूडेंट्स को लेबॉरेटरी में ले जाएंगे तो ये जानवरों की तरह तोते की तरह बोलना शुरू कर देंगे क्योंकि वहां लग बच्चे लेकिन आज का तस्वुर जो है वो है लर्निंग बाय डूइंग आज का तस्वुर जो है द लर्नर हैज टू डू इट इसलिए जो लैंग्वेज लैब में ले जाना कोई जरूरी नहीं है okay. आजकल ऐसे गैजेट्स आए हैं बल्कि आजकल आपके पास डिक्शनरी ऐसे आई है जो इंटरेक्टिव है अगर आप अपना अपनी रिकॉर्ड वॉइस करना चाहते हैं और ये देखना चाहते हैं आपकी आपका तलफ सही है या नहीं तो यू कैन गो टू दी यू कैन डू द ऑडियो एंड इट विल रिकॉर्ड यूर एंड टेल यू वेदर योर प्रोनाउंसिएशन वी गूगल एनी वर्ड दैट गिव्स टू डी प्रोनाउंसिएशन वॉट इज इंपॉर्टेंट इज इफ यू गूगल अ वर्ड नॉर्मली ऑल द कंप्यूटर आर कैलिब्रेटेड टू अमेरिकन इंग्लिश इफ यू वॉन्ट टू नो द ब्रिटिश इंग्लिश देर आर आइकन ऑन एनी डिक्शनरी रेड एंड ब्लू रेड राइट रेड एंड ब्लू ब्लू इज फॉर actually uh, it depends on what what dictionary you are using dictionary. blue is for uh, british pronunciation and red is for american so we'll take a call first from bemina uh, mohammed abrar assalam alaikum abrar ahmed assalam alaikum hello assalam alaikum welcome to tele classroom uh, ah yeah. riya रिया uh, yeah, साहब मेरा सवाल ये है कि जो हमारा इंग्लिश है और इंडियन इंग्लिश है और ये ऑस्ट्रेलियन और ब्रिटिश मुझे लगता है अपने आप को हम उनके उनके साथ कंपेयर कभी नहीं कर सकते हैं जो उनकी लैंग्वेज होती है वो अलग होती है और हमारी अलग होती है हम कितना भी कोशिश करें वर्ड स्ट्रेस पे लेकिन हम उनसे मैच नहीं हो सकेंगे क्योंकि जो हमारी कॉमन डिफिकल्टी फेस होती है जैसे की स्पीड है साउंड है वॉवेल्स है ये सारी चीजें जो हमें है ये हम उनके साथ कंपेयर नहीं कर सकते कॉन्स्टेंट है ये वगैरह बाकी चीजें है मुझे नहीं लगता है कि उनके साथ होगा ऊपर से हमें ये माहौल भी नहीं है कि राइट फ्रॉम बिगनिंग जब से हम शुरू करते हैं पढ़ना उस वक्त से हमें ये माहौल हो स्ट्रेस हो तो मैंने पिछली दफा भी कहा था रिया साहब की ट्वेल्थ में पहुंच के मैट्रिक में पहुंच के हमें ये सिखाएंगे तो क्या होगा कुछ नहीं होगा मैं खुद पोस्ट ग्रेजुएट हूँ नहीं कर सकता हूँ मैं मुझे नहीं लगता ये कंपेयर होगा उनके साथ हम थैंक यू सो मच आप यकीन मानिए अबरार साहब मैं मेरे जहन में भी ये एक सवाल उभर रहा है की मैं बचपन से किसी एक वर्ड को किसी एक अंदाज से इस्तेमाल कर रहा हूँ और उसके बाद अचानक मेरे साथ एक नया फॉर्मेट या जैसे एक कोई भी स्टूडेंट ये स्टूडेंट्स हमारे साथ है ये अपना साइंस पढ़ते हैं मैथमेटिक्स पढ़ते हैं या कोई बात और ये वर्ड को एक अंदाज में स्ट्रेस कर रहे हैं जिस तरीके से इनको अपने टीचर्स ने बताया हाउ इज इट पॉसिबल नाउ टू करेक्ट द लैंग्वेज एंड टू कम्पीट विद दैम सर फॉर्चुनेटली दिस इज द टाइम ऑफ इंटरनेट एंड द नेट इज फ्लडेड विद डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ कोर्सेज ऑन प्रोनाउंसिएशन ऑफ इंग्लिश नाउ यू विल ऑल्सो नोटिस that now even in government schools ji stress is laid on spoken english mm -hmm. and bo new books which are being so how could you see then the difference in the last 3 decades or the 4 decades what english was then as it was taught and uh, now uh, in this time i was i was i myself a writer of books mm -hmm. for the board for pretty good time okay we produced a series interaction in english up to the 8th class mm -hmm. and the focus there was on spoken english also okay even the new books that are available there mm -hmm. whether it is pri in private sector or in government sector mm -hmm. you will notice that they do not miss on okay uh, now what is important is don't go into the technicalities mm -hmm. for example i don't need to teach these students what is actually a diphthong 
Okay. For example, mm. as in tailor, mm -hmm. tay, mm. tay. I don't have to teach technicalities. Okay. But if you put words which are of the same sound and make them conscious of how sounds are different in different words, but I think that should make the things easier. I will easier. take first a call from Langit Shaukat Ahmed. Hamare saath jude hai. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Tele Classroom. Hello. Hello. Okay. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. हाँ नया साहब अस्सलाम वालेकुम वालेकुम अस्सलाम हाँ सर मुझे ये जानना है जी जैसे हम तो एक वर्ड लिखते हैं जिसमें दो सिलेबस हो या तीन सिलेबस हो हम्म हम्म तो जैसे हमारा वर्ड है एक बॉटम एक बार आप रिपीट कीजिए वर्ड वर्ड बॉटम है बॉटम बॉटम हाँ इसमें मुझे ये जानना है सर जी जी बॉटम के बाद हमें किस चीज पे सिट्रस डालना है और ये तो सिर्फ बस है थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू सो मच फॉर कॉलिंग अस थैंक यू सो मच ओके स्लाम ओके बॉटम नाउ एक्चुअली बॉटम इज अ टू सेलेबल वर्ड बॉटम नाउ बॉ इज एक्चुअली शॉर्ट वाव शॉर्ट वावल बट इट इज स्ट्रॉंगर देन अ इन टर्म देयरफॉर स्ट्रेस इज ऑन द फर्स्ट सेलेबल बिकॉज इट इज a noun now remember also that these words where you have a very short vowel that is a uh, it is we call it shiva in technical terms is very short almost mm -hmm. negligible as in a go okay. so what is important look for these words where you have very short syllables mm -hmm. and do th those short syllables cannot be stressed stress and also in some sense it's very important term normally as ms rohat was saying that mm -hmm. in any syllable there has to be a vowel right it's very easy to find how many syllables there are but words like term in the bottom mm -hmm. need not have a vowel sound, sound in, the in the middle and we call mm. such word syllabic consonant syllabic. so the stress or mm -hmm. the focus goes on the Last, last bit, bit which is very short short and we don't say bottom we say oh, bottom thum. okay thank you sir and so it is also like bottle we had so much of bottle. emails and calls bottle. in this line because the program was so beautiful by mr ad and your responses were too good also uh, sanjeev dar uh, is uh, from the baroda gujarat uh, it in, it's indeed a great show for learning i am watching this show without uh, any miss ever uh, thank you so much uh, mr sanjeev it's pleasure for us that you don't miss our program i'm settled at baroda gujarat uh, baroda gujarat today's lecture and teaching uh, teachers teaching style is mind blowing regards uh, sanjeev dar from baroda nisar ahmed लिखते हैं हमें क्वेश्चन टू द एक्सपर्ट इज माय क्वेश्चन फॉर टुडेस लेक्चर इज दैट द टीचर सेड अबाउट इंग्लिश एंड अन इंग्लिश ही सेड अबाउट द डिफरेंट प्रोनाउंसिएशंस बट आई वांट टू से दैट देयर आर द डिफरेंट प्रोनाउंसिएशंस इन द डिफरेंट कंट्रीज सो हाउ कैन वी स्पेसिफाई व्हिच वन इज द करेक्ट स्टेट सम एज अन इंग्लिश सर अ नथिंग अर्लियर सेड अमेरिकन इंग्लिश नथिंग इज अन इंग्लिश ओके एवरीथिंग इज इंग्लिश इवन इंडियन इंग्लिश इज इंग्लिश ओके बट व्हाट इज इंपॉर्टेंट इज व्हाट accent mm -hmm. is officially recognized by your country in india we have been speaking british english for british. ages now it's and, it's and now. that is the recognized accent okay therefore put your emphasis on that but as i stressed in the beginning for heaven's sake don't try to be a briton okay <laughs> i am not a briton mm. i am a kashmiri okay. let me speak the way i like, like but it. what is important is do i speak intelligibly, intelligibly. if yes, yes. Okay. then it's okay My then we had a caller we had a, not bad. We, had a, we had a caller mk but from delhi welcome to tele classroom hello hello welcome sir please hold on for a minute because uh, this is my subject mm -hmm. this is my subject you are taking my time on spot i want to talk about this english sir because i'm teaching in the st joseph college ji this is very very linguistic subject mm -hmm. sir when i was doing phd there is a phonetics come in this sir you are know, only the students for specifically i am talking kashmiri students mm -hmm. students my dear there is nothing is impossible thinking makes it sir yes please it is but jervish william shakespeare i a girl and a student put a beautiful question please why is definitely the stress in part on english mm -hmm. dear lady the word in planetarium there is sun Uh -huh. The planetarium revolves on the sun. Then Gee. there is the stress on the sun. Then planetarium, planetarium has value. <laughs> so stress of that word, whatever, whatever you voice is, that is important in English. Okay. That is called the dub. But 
I want to tell your teacher the letters and word. What is the definition of word? Mm -hmm. Combination of letters, students, take it here. Don't be. Letter, combination of letters is makes a word. Uh -huh. And you please, your students, especially I'm talking students. Mm -hmm. Students, take your environment. Talk in English. Talk in with your fathers and mothers. Talk thank in your you brothers. so much. Thank English, you. Thank you so much for your you valuable learn, comments. You can learn English. Thank please you so much. Your students. Thank you so much for your valuable comments. It is always a pleasure and we are delighted to uh, take your calls up. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Manzoor Ahmed Khan likhti. Assalamu alaikum to all of you. Wa alaikum assalam. Very stunning lecture is delivered by Mr. Abdullah Haddar Sahib. But it is unfortunate that we don't have the teachers like him in the government schools who can train the students in the English language in the primary level as well as in the secondary level. That's why uh, when we speak the English, we often feel embarrassed. Our teachers never stress on the phonetics. So my question to the Mr. Aslam Sahib is how can we change the system in the government schools? What is the best method for learner to get, gain the fluency and accuracy of the English language? Khan Manzoor from Asham Sonawari Sumbal Sri Nagar. Thank you so much for such a detailed email. Uh, well, uh, normally there is a training program for all teachers, whether mm -hmm. it is the primary level or the secondary level. I have myself uh, trained a lot of teachers mm -hmm. at all the levels, even mm -hmm. up to the college, college level. So what is important these days is that the students are now techno savvy, much more than we teachers. Yeah, I mean, they know, they know how to play with the mobiles. mobiles. And put, uh, put um, I mean, dictionary on the mobile and they will learn it fluently. So what is important, how do parents monitor their parents? Okay. How do teachers monitor their parents? Yes, mm -hmm. what is important is at the government level or at this uh, organization level, there has to be teacher training programs, even especially in English because it's a foreign language. Foreign language but I'm yeah. sure that the uh, Board of uh, School Education and SIEs and dietists are doing their bit to train these people. But it will come. What is important is our students, unfortunately, do not speak much of English. Much of Most of the time, they speak their own So we'll take language. a call first. He's uh, waiting from a long time. Mosin yeah. Abbas, Hamari Sir Jude. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Tele Classroom, sir. Hello? Hello, Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, ji, wa alaikum assalam. Yes, sir, my question is what is the difference between intonation and stress? Uh, can you repeat it once? Uh, it was not too audible to us. Stress and intonation. Uh, do you got the question, sir? Did you? This is what he said. What is the difference between stress and yes, intonation? Yes, sir. What is the difference between stress and? What is the difference between intonation and stress? I-N-T-O-N-A-T-I-O-N. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you. And intonation. Now, thank you. Thank first you. of all, it is not citrus. It mm. is stress. Stress. So don't break stuff. Right? Mm. It is a, uh, it's a consonant cluster. Now, intonation. Let me put on Urdu. Mm -hmm. we, we had a funny, we had one um, email here. Atika Javed, it is good to see the program. Highly appreciable for understanding of the language, English language. Just for the fun, you can tell me. Can you please, just for the fun, he's <laughs> saying here, just for the fun, uh, can you tell me the word with the highest number of the syllabi? It is, uh, she has also written it here, anti-disestablishmentarism. How can uh, it be pronounced? Uh, anti-disestablishmentarism. Uh, right, let me first of all. So, mm. citrus and intonation. Mm -hmm. In, citrus is the way you breathe out <coughs> your air from the lungs, mm -hmm. and because of that process, a particular Mm -hmm. Part of the word is prominent, right? Okay. Intonation is actually the way our sound moves up and down. Up and down. Yes. Right. I'll, I'll, I'll I mean, example for this way. Yes. 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 Okay, thank you so much. Really? Thank you. So that is now, as far as anti establishmentarianism is concerned, look for the root. Look for the root. Thank it you so much. Thank it you was, so much. It was it was yes, beautiful on your part, sir. It was thank too beautiful on your part you also. Well, thank, really you thank you very much. I also um, am very thankful to um, students here and also to the escort teacher, Mr. Ashraf. And I'm really thankful to the emails and the phone lines. We have a so many bunch of emails. Yes. We have a so many bunch of emails. We have emails. जो थे वो हम प्रोग्राम में शामिल नहीं कर पाए कुछ कॉल्स भी नहीं ले पाते लेकिन वक्त की तंगदामनी की वजह से क्या किया जाए आप हमारे अगले के प्रोग्राम भी ऐसे ही देखते रहें इंशाल्लाह ताला वेल फ्रेंड्स लेट मी रिमाइंड यू वंस अगेन दैट यू कैन वॉच द रिपीट टेलीकास्ट ऑफ दिस प्रोग्राम ओनली ऑन थर्सडेज एट 9:10 एएम एंड डू जॉइन अस ऑन आवर YouTube चैनल एंड कीप सेंडिंग योर फीडबैक ऑन आवर ईमेल आईडी ddktelecastroom@gmail.com वेल दैट्स इट फ्रॉम अस टुडे गुड बाय फॉर नाउ अल्लाह हाफिज़ अल नासिर